Well, hello everybody, it's Joe Grotesque. Happy New Year! I know it's a little late, but it's better late than never, right? So I hope everyone had a happy holiday season. Mine was okay. I managed to pick up some pretty cool gifts, some very thoughtful gifts. And I wanted to share a few of them with you here today because, well, some of you guys like this kind of stuff that I get. And what's getting it without sharing it? Well, like many guys my age, a lot of you were really into the muscle toy line back in the mid 80s. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of up for anything new that comes from that, including the Super 7 stuff. But nothing beats when you can get back to the original characters of Kanika Man, which is what Muscle was based out of. Kanika Man is out of Japan, of course. And uh, if there's one thing that I like more than anything, it's Japanese Sofubi. Now, if you don't know what Sofubi is, it's Japanese soft vinyl toys. So up first, I got this little Kanika Man, and he's pretty radical. These are from Metacom 5 Star. Toys. He's got a cool little sash on him. He's uh, doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. He's got a bit in his arms and legs and a tiny bit in his head. But he's a super cool dude. And I want to follow him up with Brockin Jr. Who's made by the same folks. And this is just a solid peach tone version much like the uh, old school toys, uh, I suppose he could be customized, custom painted, but uh, I think I'm going to leave him as is, because he just kind of looks like a giant muscle toy. And now my favorite one thus far is this Robin mask. Now that's a pretty sweet psychedelic uh, paint deco he's got going on. This is a uh, Magical Mosh Misfits exclusive. And so he's almost got like, I don't know how easy it is to pick up on camera, but it's almost like a somewhere in between a sea foam and a teal green. If you see him in person with his purple legs and arms, he's just ultra cool. Now up next is something very, very cool. Now you guys know I'm a big TMNT guy, like many folks out there. And uh, this is from NECA Toys, and it is a prop replica ooze canister that glues. It's even got TCRI, which in the movies it was TGRI, I believe. Nonetheless, super cool. Really dig this. And that's it for now, guys. Uh, there's some more Retro Cynical coming real soon. I hope you guys will stick around for it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.